In January 2025, a remotely operated vehicle dove past a trench no human has ever mapped and recorded something that should not exist. A creature with veins of cold blue light pulsing under its skin, as if something inside was trying to escape. The team named it only one thing, the umbral orphid. And what they captured may redefine what life means in the deep ocean. The ROV footage begins in near total darkness. The trench is steep, silent, and smothered in drifting sediment. The kind that only forms where sunlight has never existed. The dive team wasn't searching for new life. They were running pressure diagnostics on the lower ridge, nothing more. And then, a faint blue glow pushed through the black water. In the footage, the shape drifts into view, slowly, effortlessly, not swimming, not undulating, but sliding through the water in a motion that shouldn't be physically possible. Right after the creature approached from view, the rove signal dropped entirely. A full blackout lasting seven seconds. When the signal returned, only the creature's back was visible. Some researchers believe the signal loss wasn't an equipment failure, but a reaction from the creature itself. When the ROV approached, the orphid's anatomy was no longer the same. Its body had swollen slightly, the midsection expanding while the tail contracted. The expanded form revealed new details never seen in the first video segment. Its skin, still translucent, now showed thicker, branching channels of blue light swirling like fluid being forced through an organic lattice. Where its surface once appeared smooth, the creature now displayed shifting ridges, patterns rising and fading like breathing bioluminescent sigils. As the orphid turned, the curvature of its body changed again, sections elongating while others compressed, as though its anatomy could redistribute mass at will. And then the patterns on its skin began to shift rapidly, rotating, folding, and fading into deeper tones of blue. Within seconds, the entire creature dimmed, its form dissolving into the surrounding darkness, as though its body was turning invisible one layer at a time. When we see it in those final frames, the creature dissolves into darkness completely. Proof that its glow is voluntary, not a constant biological trait. But during its first appearance, it radiates a soft, almost alluring blue, an illumination too deliberate to be accidental. That contrast suggests the initial blue point wasn't a passive glow at all, but a lure a fabricated signal designed to draw in smaller prey, or mislead a threat before the creature shifts its form. Many deep-sea predators use bioluminescence to hunt, but the orphid's glow behaves differently, too steady, too unnervingly calm, as if waiting for a response before revealing itself. This implies its luminescence is controlled with precision, 
functioning simultaneously as camouflage and bait, an adaptive weapon woven into its biology. At first, the creature appears thin, elongated, floating weightlessly with only a faint trail of blue light holding its shape together. But moments later, its entire form swells outward, the tail retracts, and the structures inside its body reorganize in a way that is unmistakable. What's striking is the absence of anything resembling a skeletal framework. Its body behaves more like a mesoglia-based organism, something built to deform rather than maintain a fixed anatomy. This transformation reinforces the earlier theory that the creature alters its shape deliberately, a flexible defense mechanism meant to confuse predators by never presenting a consistent silhouette. And it may not only be defending itself, it may be trying to intimidate whatever is pursuing it. In this sequence, the creature's outer layer appears gelatinous, yet structurally stable, as if its body is held together by an inner tension we can't quite see. At the center, a swollen core expands and contracts in a slow, deliberate rhythm, behaving almost like both a buoyancy chamber and a regulatory organ. This pulsing motion may serve multiple purposes at once. Propulsion, intimidation, and the modulation of whatever signal the creature is trying to emit. Instead of eyes, the front of its body is marked by shifting, crescent-shaped bands of light. Flickering blue, restless pulse. They behave less like organs of vision and more like luminous sensors. Structures built to read the darkness rather than simply see through it. Their uneven rhythm hints at something active, almost intentional. It's as if the creature is scanning its surroundings or communicating in patterns only its own kind could understand. The effect mirrors the pigment-shifting cells found in deep-sea cephalopods far more than anything we associate with vertebrate life. Before the creature dissolved back into the darkness, faint branching lines flickered along its sides, patterns unlike anything seen on its surface before. They glowed for only a moment, shifting as the creature reshaped its markings, as if revealing a brief redistribution of energy moving through its body. Based on all available footage, the ungral orphid appears to rely on three core survival strategies. Controlled luminescent deception, reactive body expansion, and complete shadow assimilation. Its ability to shift from a single point of light to a large pulsing organism implies a physiology more fluid than any recorded vertebrate or invertebrate in the abyssal zone. More concerning is its final disappearance. The ROV's sensors report no physical mass, no heat signature, and no residual bioluminescence after the fade. This suggests the creature does not simply retreat. It actively cancels its visibility, merging with ambient darkness in a way no known species can replicate. If the blue light is indeed a deliberate lure, then its vanishing act may be the inverse, an ambush reset, allowing it to reposition without detection. For now, the umbral orphid remains unclassified, unverified, and unsettlingly intelligent in its control of perception itself.